How did you handle preparing and organizing the medications for the recipient? We, when I, um, when Vicki was transplanted and um, she was transferred over to the main hospital, they had a system there where she was issued a tackle box with all their medications. And every morning and evening that I was there, I would set them out um, and go over them with the nurse and to make sure that she was getting it. That way I learned which medications she was you know, supposed to take and the dosages and whatnot. And that's how we got into a routine and it just became second nature after that. Well, again, it was suggested to us, though I'm sure my husband would have figured that out. He's very good like that. But we numbered all of them, and it just worked out perfectly. And he had his blue card, and everything is so organized. You put your trust in UCSF. They know what they're doing. Preparing and handling um, the meds actually turned out to be one of the easier things because I feel the, um, the education that they gave us, the pharmacists give you a, a pre-discharge education on what to do with the meds, and they tell you, number them all, line them up on one side, and then as you um, administer them, line them, move them to the other side so you don't get confused as to which you've given or haven't given. So just following their basic instructions is what I would totally recommend and how I handled it, but the whole crushing of the meds and having to administer them down through his feeding tube, my hand got sore. <laughs> we actually, as he got a little bit better, more well, I would be able to hand him one and say, crush it for me, because my wrist was really, you know, you're doing 45 meds a day or, or more and crushing each one of them, your hand got sore. Um, but as long as you do what they tell you with the meds, um, that was probably one of the easy, I'm good at be. I'm good at doing what I'm, I'm told, you know, kind of like, okay, if you'll do this, this is how you'll get through this part of it. So, yeah. I prepared the medications. They came in boxes and boxes and boxes. And I thought, oh my gosh. So I did a big, long dresser, and I labeled each one and when they were to be given, how often, what dosage, and I put it in every, in order. And then I had the chart that UCSF had given me, and I just checked everything to make sure twice that I, did it right, and I, they had sent home a container with breakfast, lunch, evening, and bedtime so that I could put Monday through Sunday in each container for a week, and that's how I did it. I basically uh, followed Michelle's lead because she had it all sorted out in a very organized way and we're still using that method only we've got it down now from several hours to maybe uh, an hour. <laughs> the medications we always did together so my mom and I would sit down we would have all of her pill bottles out in front of us we would go through her blue chart and we filled out are we um, we used a weekly med uh, pill box. So there was four slots for each day and a seven day period. So we went through and filled in each day according to the blue sheet and we did it together so that if I wasn't there, she had an idea of how to do it and if she had to be gone to the hospital for a blood draw or something and it needed to be done, then I could do it. My dad did it with her as well, but I did it with her most of the time. And we really found that that worked because after 13 weeks when I went back home and she was kind of on her own doing her medications. She had no problem at all. We had a system in place, it worked. We did it every two weeks and it was, it became very second nature. My wife is a, is a number one organizer and she has everything down uh, to the, the nth degree. She has everything scheduled. She has everything enumerated. She's got everything identified. She has everything located. So it was uh, very simple for me to just you know, follow uh, the roadmap and, and what had already been scheduled and laid out. For preparing the medications, 
Before we left the hospital, I tried to absorb what the hospital staff had to offer and how the nurses handled giving him the medications. What I noticed is every time he used a pill cup, and so I asked if we could have a supply of those pill cups, which they happily gave me. I noticed that they wore gloves each time, and I asked if I could have some gloves, so they gave us some gloves to get set up. Um, of course, their medications come in little packages that are very nice to use each time. So I thought, gosh, what could I do? And I asked for the pink um, tubs that they have in the, in the um, room. I got three of the tubs and put the medications in there. The pharmacist at the hospital numbers the medications and the traveling nurse suggested that I put the numbers also on the lids of the medications to make it easy to identify. So that first week was handling the medications a lot. Um, I, every time he took medications, I started the process all over again. By the end of that first week, I decided that I could prepare them weekly. But at that point, I realized that we were short one medication. And I called UCSF. Um, they said I needed to call Kaiser, that that was a Kaiser issue, so I called Kaiser, and we started the ball rolling, but it took a couple of days to get them, actually it took more than a couple of days to get the medication, and he did not have the medication for two days. So I was fortunate when I switched to the weekly method where I could think beyond the day, which was a little too much for me to do at the start. Um, but that is something that you have to stay on top of is if you're going to run out of medications. We were given great instructions from the pharmacist uh, before we were discharged. I don't know who it was, but one of the pharmacists had instructed us on our blue card, it's um, the medications are numbered. So she said, why don't you put the number associated with the medication on the top of your prescription bottle, which was a great information, which was one of the best informations. And to this day, we still use that, that direction. So that helped us tremendously. Prior to Rudy's transplant, he was on quite a bit of medications, but not, not this much. So it was a challenge. When we got to um, um, our outpatient facility, our, apart, our home, away from home, we had uh, home health care. And so the nurses there uh, made, us, um, made us go through the week's worth of medication to ensure that we were doing it correctly. And so that was great because they would read the dosage and talk to us. Um, they would instruct us how to mix up the, um, the tobimycin, the inhalation medication, which was um, really different because we had never mixed medications before. But it was all good. They really want to provide you the best education possible, and, and so it was a learning experience. But, and if you didn't get it, they would be more than willing to help you. You know, let's go back, let's go back or no, let me show you a different way of doing this. So it was, it, it was good. They, they want you to succeed. I was told to go to Walgreens the day before he was released to pick up the meds. And when I went, the whole counter was filled with pill bottles. And they gave me two big bags plus another canvas sack of medicines. To, and I brought them back to the pharmacist on the 10th floor. And she numbered all the pills. She, reconcile that what we were taking home was what he should be receiving. Uh, she numbered each bottle of pills for me and they matched the number on the blue card that we were given, which really helped. We were fortunate enough to go home because we live close to UCSF, so we were able to um, go home to our own environment. It was wonderful. I put all the pills on the dining room table in the order in which they were numbered and Actually, it wasn't that difficult. It, it was overwhelming, the number of pills and the time it took to do it because I kind of double-checked everything and my daughter would help and we would make sure that he was getting the right pills at the right time of day. But I think having the bottles numbered 
and it was very clear what he had to take. When they first sent the medications home, they sent me home with two bags, and I went and opened them up, and I was overwhelmed. Their medications with names I'd never heard of. And so the first thing that I, Tom and I sat down and we said, we've got to work out a system that works so that we both understand this and it's not as confusing. And so Tom and I looked at the list of medications together with the bottles of medication and we matched the numbers. So we took a black marker and we'd write the number of the medication on top of the pill, the pill bottle so that you could line it up and it wasn't a picking up the bottle and trying to figure out what this medication belongs over here. And it, it worked for us. And I understand that everybody has different ways that they see things. Some people have to do something different to make it work for them, but that worked really, really well for us. And it's very, you have to just be careful, you know, and take your time and get comfortable give it a couple of days and then you'll relax, you'll get it.